So, after planting the little spot in our garden, let us talk about an herb. It's called common rue and it's a plant with lots of properties. So, follow me and listen. As we said before in my garden tour, we're going to take every plant and we are going to talk about it. Uh, the properties, the medicinal properties, the name and what we can do with it. Today I have this plant, uh, it's called rue, common rue in English. The Latin name is Ruta graviolens. Uh, it is a herb of grace, they say. In Greek, it's called apiganos. In Amharic, it's called tena adam. And in German, it has multiple names, such as Weinraute, Weinkraut, Raute, Totenkraut, and also Rue. Ruta graviolis, as we said, it's a herb of grace. It is an antidote for poisons, skin afflictions, snake bites, pestilines, and normally we use it as a corrective measures. Rue is antispasmodic and antiseptic, used for fever and inflammation. In Ethiopia here they use it uh, for tooth pain, belly pain and of course for many other things which I will explain later. It is also anti-hemorrhagic. Uh, it has inside rutin and rutosoid, that means vitamin P and it's advised not using it during pregnancy. It's very helpful to treat uh, aminoria and any kind of menstrual uh, imbalances and it is recommended to be taken as a tea. Studies have shown uh, that rue helps with colon cancer and it has a very big healing properties. I will link below the study that has been done about the rue and the outstanding conclusions about this herb. In Greece I found it in monasteries and in one big center in Athens, uh, Stavros Niarchos. At the back of it they have a lot of uh, herbs and a beautiful and outstanding gardens. So once I went to visit and I saw that and yeah, I was amazed actually. In Germany I saw it in clusters and in some castles, in gardens. First one I saw was in Nuremberg, in a cluster. And they have many other uh, herbs also in the gardens. So it's used everywhere. And I would love uh, to hear uh, if there is any Nati Native American that sees this video uh, to tell us if they know this herb. Here in Ethiopia, we often put it daily in, uh, in our coffee, in our tea, in milk, yogurt, and cheese, also cottage cheese. Uh, in general, uh, what you have to know about the syrup is that uh, it is anti-toad and it's used for corrective measures. Please look at it, read about it, and use it in your life it can save you for many other problems and very toxic chemicals that we are using in our daily lives. The plants know our cells, our cells know the plants, so without any damage, we can be healed and protected. Protect your body, protect the plants, and you'll see a very big change in your life. So, here is my Ethiopian small cup, and here is my Ethiopian big cup because I love 
coffee. I will be drinking it here. But I will put some coffee here to show you how we drink it with the roux. So, oh, it smells so good. So I'm gonna put inside the roux so you can see. All the essential oil of this leaf is coming out. You can see it. See all this? So we begin drinking it hot. In Ethiopia, we never drink cold coffee as in other places. And this is not enough damp coffee and we drink that everywhere and anytime. And, and in the big one, big one also. This is my big cherubim cup, which I love. And of course, the oils from the roux, from that inadda. Κοιτάξτε, θα υπέρει αέλεα από τον απίγανο, πως φυγαίνουνε. Please, if you like this video, comment below, subscribe and of course like.